Welcome back. So, did you know you can pass more than just variables through an array or th into a uh, a method? I'll show you how. We're going to pass an array. So, let's go ahead and just make a little test function here. Um, okay, how about int and let's just go str strength. <laughs> Get tired of trying to think of think of all the different names. Um, okay, so let's make an array. So we'll go int um, str equals new int, and we'll set it for places long we'll initialize it and do all that great stuff all right so we've got uh, here we've got our our array um, with uh, four elements in the array you don't remember these are called elements when they're inside an array now let's go ahead and pass this array into this method now Let's at first let's just pass one um, one of the variables, not the whole array. So we'll go test, and then we'll go int and pass zero, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. But this is a syntax for passing uh, passing um, a, an element into a variable it looks like that so we could come in here and we could you know print this out if we wanted and you'll see that what's going to print out is the number one because that's what we set the first element of our array to so as you can see number one there but what if we wanted to pass the whole array well let's just get rid of that, come down here, put little brackets there. Now you're going to pass the entire array into your method. Now, if, you're, if you have programming knowledge, just bear with me. I'm going to correct my violation here in a minute. And I'll explain that to you uh, in a minute too if you don't know what I meant. So let's print this all out just so you can see it actually is um, doing what I'm claiming it does. Uh, let's do now that what I just typed. Um, That's just a, what this means here, <clears throat> that just is a way of uh, calling the length of the array. So that, in this case, is going to be uh, four, because our array is, you know, has four elements in it. So don't let that confuse you, please. And toss this guy up in here. Sorry, I feel like I'm... A little off this video. All right, so let's go ahead and print this out. Oh, uh, yep, I'm off on this video. <laughs> okay, so I just forgot to toss that in there. Bear with me. Okay, so now you can see there's the length of our array, or the uh, values of our array. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So with just one argument we were able to pass the entire array but it is good practice to always pass your arrays by reference and that's because arrays um, obviously store a lot of they take up a lot of memory right I mean you've got four variables instead of one and some arrays could be hundreds of of, of, of elements long and uh, if you pass them by location 
you're not actually going to suck up uh, whole new locations in your memory, or if you pass them by reference, I should say, you're not going to uh, be using more of uh, your memory up. It's already you've already got your you know your 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 boxes laid out, your memory slots laid out. And when you pass uh, by value, you know you're actually creating all new variables. So that's how you pass them. Um, that's how you pass an array into a method. So uh, thank you very much, and subscribe and like, and have a good day, and see you in the next video.